Season three, season three, season three, season three. Hello and welcome back to My Hero Academia. Sorry for the mix up a couple of weeks ago with obviously <laughs> two and tw twenty three and twenty four. So I know I know the comments will probably be a bit weird because I'll have read from twenty five back to twenty four and then realised at twenty five that I hadn't put up twenty three. So twenty three went up after. Holy crap! Um, I do apologise for that. Um, but that. The whole season was was incredible, and, and and now I'm excited for for this season. If I'm if I'm honest, um, this is uh, My Hero Academia. This is um, yeah, this is season three. I'm I'm kind of surprised we're already here. Like it feels like we've been on 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 a road, and and now we're here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read the comments. Um, oh, Liam Catson, my boy, is first. So uh, let's read some comments. Um, Liam Ketson says this, uh, oh, but also I should point out something before we start, um, the support you guys have given me is absolutely wonderful, so thank you very much, um, you're incredible, and, and I love you very much, um, I just wanted to say that, sorry, um, don't forget you can check out the full reactions on Patreon, and yeah, keep being awesome. Liam Ketson said this was the episode he, that made me fall so much for Tumara, he's such a wonderful character, after what drifted from concerning to comedic direction in season 2, because I did love how annoyed Tamara was when Stain basically breathed. It, for me, has made Tamara sinister, more sinister. I even say more so than season one. I love going into your mindset and reactions, especially how you impress, you want to impress and entertain people. The analogy of a hero world to react to world is so greatly put. I'm in the same mindset that I hope to entertain rather than being the best because I want to put a smile on people's faces. I do want to be, I want to do my best to put enjoyable content out there with my ideals being honest and understanding people have an issue. I babble quite a bit, but we all have our different audiences. It's very true, we, we do, and, and, I, and, and when I made that analogy, I think I, I really hit a nail on the head for quite a lot of people in, in a lot of, um, you know, in a lot of uh, careers and hobbies and, and, and whatever the fuck this is, you know what I mean? Like, where does that fall? Who knows? Um, but it is true that, you know, you, you, you have this certain sense of, um, wanting to, to please you guys and wanting to put stuff out there. And when you guys are like, oh, come in, where's this, where's this? And you're like, ah, you're stressing because you, you don't know. So it is a challenge and it can be, it can be tough sometimes, but yeah, I'm excited for this. Yep, yeah. Um, Becca Black and White, um, and I'm glad you guys are here because I absolutely love you. Becca Black and White says, A few episodes back, you read one of my comments when I mentioned that my favourite MHA ship involved Kirishima. You asked who the other person was. Let's just say that you'll probably work it out next season. So this season, yes! Uh, and it is LGBTQ plus ace. I'm very, very hyped for season three. Oh, I think we're all very, very excited for season three. Okay, don't worry. Um, Ashwin Sharma says, Have you heard of a Netflix show called The Dragon Prince? One of the co-creators was the head writer and avatar, uh, director of Avatar The Last Heaven. I'd love you for you to check it out one day. I have heard of this and I would really like to react to it. I just don't know if the rules are what the rules are. Ashwin, you're challenged if you choose to accept it. Go find out if we can react to Dragon Prince. <laughs> he also says, In episode 24, did you understand what I meant when I said this is what All Might looks like from the villain's perspective? Before that episode, we had only seen All Might look like from the eyes of the hero citizen. But that episode was the first time we saw All Might from the eyes of the villain. Yes. No, I totally got that. Which is ironic, really, because how fucking terrifying must that be? Like, holy shit, he, he, he went like this, and the whole street went... You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, that was, that was insanity. That was, it was amazing, though. Um, Laura Evans says, Season 3, Episode 1, will have your reaction to my favourite opening. OP4, I can't wait, even if we can't see it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Well, don't forget, you can watch the full reaction on Patreon. Please support me, I need to eat. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on it, I'm about to, it's obviously about to come up in a second. Um, Creative Whist says, 88, you should react to 7 Deadly Sins, I recommend it, it's on Netflix. Yeah, I just need to know if I can react to that or not, that's, you know what I mean, like... Um, Nathan M says, Alex, you're already a top tier reaction channel in my book, you don't need to compete with anyone else. I don't need to compete with anyone else, but you find yourself doing it and, it, and it's crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there are there are moments where you're like, I need to, I need to do this, and you're like, wait a minute, it doesn't fucking matter what anyone else is doing, but you focus on you. Um, which is where I'm at currently. I'm just trying to do the best I can do, and I and I hope I'm doing okay. Um, <laughs> Pyro Phoenix says, great reaction. I'm looking forward to your reaction views on season and scenes and characters in season three. So, a couple things I wanted to ask about. Um, 
What is your opinion on the scene of Tamura Shigaraki Shig oh, talking about how heroes can never save anyone, cut with the image of what it looks like to be young Shigaraki over a dismembered and bloody hand? Also, your thoughts on him now? He is just has he has conviction. He's not going about aimlessly causing chaos. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, like when when you when you say that, I don't recall that scene of him standing over a dismembered hand. And I'm trying to. I remember a dismembered hand, but why don't I recall it? So obviously, it didn't hit home as much as 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 it was meant to in that moment. But now you've said that, now I'm like, ah, okay, <laughs> this makes more sense now. <laughs> um, I must have. I must. I don't know. I don't know how I missed that because that's hmm. Odd. But um yeah, it's it's that that to me now suggests that yeah, okay, so here has failed him and he wants revenge, he obviously lost someone who, who he loves, hence why he also wears the hands. Um Interesting. Why don't I recall that? Maybe it's because it's early and my mind's just fucked. Um but Odd. Right. Well that makes more sense now. Yeah. I'll I'll give him that one. Um, I, I like the fact that he has conviction now, I like the fact that he, he has a purpose now, he wants to, you know, wipe All Might from the board, and, you know, yeah, I, I quite like that, um, because his ideals really don't match up with the hero killers, you know, the hero killers, like, I'm going to take out all these fake heroes because they're not worthy of being heroes, because they're not doing it for the right reasons, and they're not, you know, they're, they're, they're in it for money, or power, or fame, whereas All Might's in it just to save people, and that's the point. Whereas Shigaraki's like, fuck these heroes, don't believe in any of them, I'm going to kill the top one first and I'll probably work my way down. So, that's also interesting. Um, what are your thoughts on the new members of the League of Villains, those being Himiko, Toga and Dabi? Um, I don't really have much thoughts, I like the girl, she looks like she's going to be like a real problem with her knives. Um, <laughs> and the guy's really creepy, like what's what happened here? Like, and we need to talk about from here to here, like why, why is, why is that that? But yeah, I I am. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, Will McKee me Will McMeekin says, "Holy shit, are the, nearly at the hype of season three. Well, we are here today. I'd love to see your first reaction to the opening song. Um, like I say, you can watch it on Patreon. But I, I'll see, I'll see, because I know that season three gets blocked a lot anyway, so we have to be careful. That's all. Um, Silver Dam says, "Mama Midoriya needs a hug." Yeah, yeah, I, I was. Yeah, I felt bad for Mama Midori. I always felt bad for Mama Midori. Um, but yeah. And someone could be YouTube, you didn't give Oh, yeah, she thought. Okay, so War Raven thought, did, 20, did I miss 24? No, it's 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 up now. It should be up now, so apologies for that. Um. I am very excited for this, guys. I'll be honest. I think it's going to be absolutely lit. Um, and also, isn't this show always so great? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's always that sense of, can they do, you know, any better? And then they're like, yes, we can. Um, so, like, the, even the last episode was just a very much a, 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 a quiet, um, you know, there wasn't much happening. Like, it was just a shopping. It was literally just a shopping episode. In D&D, &D, that's what we call a shopping episode. But... It turned into, um, something else. Um, and that was amazing. Mm. So I'm excited. This, this is My Hero Academia. This is season three, this is episode more. Are you ready? I'm ready for this intro. I'm excited. Don't forget, guys, you can watch the whole reaction on Patreon, so if I don't include your favourite things, you can watch it on there. It's five dollars a month. It's up to you. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I like this new intro. Oh shit! Right. A world without the symbol of peace. Yeah, that'd be dumb. Society just how that'd be like our world. Don't do it, it's is. dumb. I even got shivers. You know what I mean? Times I still can't believe this is my life. That the number one hero in the world chose to pass his quirk one for all onto me. 
said. How unfortunate. I was supposed to spend several weeks touring Venice with my parents. What is your life? No. <laughs> <laughs> What is your life? It's true well, though. It's though. Pervert. It's like in absolute pervert. I'll start working on a formal proposal right away. All the girls in their swimsuits. It's our duty to support our classmates. And you're not helping. Isn't that pretty hot? Have some standards, dude. Aminari, <laughs> Mineta, nice work. No. I'm proud of Stop you for suggesting pervert. more training. You're an asset to our class. Oh no. Let me thank you. Oh no. Oh now, no. Don't just sit there. It's time to come sweat with us. I was like, well, why is it just a random bikini right, one? Let's take a 15 minute breather. I brought these for everyone. Please drink up. Nice! Thanks. Uh, something wrong? No. This is just funny, that's yes, all. Yes, there is something wrong. No one has nipples. What the, the fuck is wrong exams, with that? <laughs> is no one concerned? Let's become such good friends. <laughs> Sorry, I, I guess just... if I'm being honest, <laughs> I didn't I worry think about that this. much of you back then. <laughs> and yet, during. I'm How could a hero course reject someone who is committed to saving others, no matter the consequences to himself? After all, that is what makes a hero. Welcome. Ah, uh, such a long time ago. Uh... You have made it. You're now part of the Hero Academia. Nope. Your methods were reckless. Yeah. But I could feel the tenacity and drive you brought to each test. I believe that's. I like the, the attention to detail about the star and the shoulders round. and stuff as well. Thanks, Ida. Better. Uh -oh. The next time I beat you, I want you to be at your strongest, you damn nerd. Gotcha. Why are you? Hey, I got your message. Sorry, I'm late. Took a while to convince Bakugo to come out. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Damn it, buffered at the wrong moment. But at least I get to see who wins correctly, I suppose. Yeah. Just Watch this. You want to make your Interesting that we're flashing back a lot. Become hmm. the hero he wanted you to be! We can tell. The League of Villains hasn't made a move since. That's true. Yeah, that's I'm the sure issue. they're hiding in the shadows, waiting to strike again. Likely, yes. The police are currently working alongside heroes to gather as much information about the group as possible. It's all it'll take. I'll slide past them. I can win this with one for all. Get set! Mm. <laughs> Why are they using their quirks? It's 5 p.m. Your authorized pool time is officially over. Part. <laughs> are you questioning me? Not at all, Mr. Aizawa. No, no. Damn it. Sorry. An all might. It's only a matter of time. Well, I like your determination. <laughs> this is where my journey began. Young Midoriya. Summer training camp will be I'm tough. Worry that this is Try where all my journey I will. To end. Oh, I like this ending. Keep it to yourself. Don't even tell the students. Mm. There's something I'd like you to prepare for me. That's right. We're about to start playing a brand new game. You're a bad man now. Don't want to preview. Don't want to preview, I just want to be amazed by this episode and everything it brought to the table, which I am. Um, that was, that was very good. Um, I, I, I think that there was a lot of, uh, potential plot lines starting, but it was really just a look back at what happened last time and, 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 and you know, where, where the characters are right now and, and where the characters sort of have evolved from, um... Interesting plotline, interesting, but I, I, I enjoyed it all the same. Um, I think at some point Izuku's got to, um, uh, Katsuki's got to start being like, you know, chilling out a little bit, you know, like, come on, dude, it's been how many sessions now? You can, you can, you can chill out a little bit now, you know? Um, I like to think so anyway, but, um, I don't know, it was, he, he's just very aggressive, um, all the time, you know what I mean? Like, all the time, so yeah, um, I just, I just, I just, yeah, I just need him to calm down, just a tiny little bit, I don't know if it'll ever happen, but I do. I also think it's interesting that, um, we get to see the police officer again, because 
it's nice that he gets to be more, we've never seen his quirk though, but it's nice that we get to see um, more of him and more of what he's about and more of why, how how his investigation is going into, into the League of Villains, because they really backbenched that last season. So, like the actual investigation, so I'm excited for that. I'm also excited to see, I love the new opening, that was very cool. Um, I'm excited to see what, how they integrate these new villains into the show as well, um, because I imagine they'll do it with, well, I imagine they'll do it brilliantly. Um, but yeah, that was really, really great. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this 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 reaction. Um, there's there's a lot to take away from that, but also not very much because it was just kind of like a setup for for next episode and 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 the season to come. So yeah, I am I am really really excited to see where they they take the season. I I have some thoughts. And whatever Tamora, um, Chimura, I can't say it. Um, whatever Shigaraki is, is up to next. I don't see it being a good thing. For some reason. <laughs> I just don't, okay? I don't know why. I just don't see it being a great thing. But, um, we'll see. Thank you for watching. I love you lots. I have been Torture Boy. You've been awesome. And this has been... Yeah, this has been the, uh... The epic, the legendary My Hero Academia, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. That was that was that was really good, and and I I like the excuse that got Midoriya to the pool. Sorry, I'm just I'm just I'm thinking about. It. So I like the excuse that got Midoriya to the pool was was fucking Kurunami and um, whose name I can never say correctly, and Minetta trying to like perv on women because that's just yeah, that's them, isn't it? Um, damn it, Kinari, I I can't say his name. Ever. What can can I can can, can can why why does this name fuck me up so much I don't understand um, all the time but yes I I was disappointed in him I was like come on I expect this behavior from a minute oh, but yeah I love you you know so uh, that was interesting but yeah I enjoyed it thank you for watching I'll see you next time have a great day um, I love the new intro that was so cool but it is by Sony Music so the chances of me being able to show it on here are very fucking low. Um, yeah, have a great day.